So slow delivery is always better than fast delivery because you don't want to overwhelm your liver. Hello, Dr. Joe here of the drjoe.com and the 2020from.com. Today, I want to talk to you about how the process of the cardiometabolic diseases that are making us sick is kick-started. And more importantly, I'm also going to tell you about the nutrient that is responsible for these uh, cardiometabolic diseases. Now, this video was prompted by uh, a recent publication that came out a couple of weeks ago. And uh, the study was carried out in uh, Switzerland and Austria. And the finding is not essentially something we didn't know before. Uh, it, however, it is replicating something we knew. And in science, when there is uh, replication by way of scientific studies, then that theory becomes fact. And we can then apply that theory or that fact to our day-to-day -day lives, especially when uh, the studies are carried out in different uh, parts of the world. So uh, we're going to be looking at that study. However, this process is actually kick-started in one very vital organ in our body. And that organ is, let's look at it, is the liver. Okay, here it is. Okay, the liver is where it all begins. So we're gonna have a look at what goes on in the liver because um, this study was actually uh, carried out uh, looking at what happens in the liver when you consume these uh, particular nutrients that uh, we're gonna be talking about. So let's look at the study in question. And here is this study. Uh, it was published in the Journal of Hepatology and is titled Fructose and Sucrose but not glucose sweetened beverages promote hepatic de novo lipogenesis, a randomized control trial. You know I like randomized control trials so uh, uh, this one really ticks the box for me. So let's look at the study design okay let's look at it so here it is uh, as i stated earlier on it was a randomized control trial double blinded so that's good really good i like that they recruited 94 lean healthy men aged between 18 to 30 years of age with a bmi of less than 24 so they wanted people with clean liver. You remember I said everything, you know, kickstarts from the liver. Uh, so they wanted people with healthy livers uh, to uh, be in this uh, study. And uh, they excluded some people. Uh, individuals consuming uh, more than 60 grams per day of uh, sugar sweetened beverages uh, were excluded. Individuals doing exercise for more than three hours uh, per week were also excluded. They also excluded women because they didn't want confounding factors uh, to come into play, you know, things like female hormones. So they wanted a very, uh, they wanted a study that will be sort of not misinterpreted uh, by way of confounders. And they split the, uh, the study participants into four groups. And uh, the four groups were, you know, one group they gave fructose uh, containing drink, another group they gave sucrose containing drink the other group they gave drinks containing glucose okay so one group fructose the other group sucrose the other group glucose uh, and then uh, the fourth group they didn't give any uh, sugar sweetened beverage at all so that fourth group represented the control group and prior to the study the participants had to uh, abstain from uh, sugar sweetened beverages for four weeks, okay? Which is very nice. They wanted them to have, you know, more or less clean livers coming into the study. And they allowed the study to run for seven weeks, okay? And how much uh, sugar did they give to them in the study? Well, they gave them 80 grams of uh, sugar sweetened beverages per day, okay? And of course, uh, the control group had nothing at all in terms of uh, sugar intake. So 
you're talking about giving 80 grams of uh, sugar sweetened beverages per day in the form of uh, fructose drink sucrose drink group number two and group number three glucose drink uh, so uh, let's see what they found uh, in the uh, this very study the findings were that uh, there were lots of findings in this study actually but these are the ones that apply to us uh, in this uh, very video uh, groups that drank fructose okay or sucrose had increased de novo liver fat de novo actually means new okay so the groups that drank fructose drink sucrose drinks had increased new liver fat okay uh, the other finding was that groups that drank uh, fructose drink or sucrose drink had increased free fatty acids and the free fatty acids were double that in the glucose uh, group the other finding was that the glucose group had little new fat formation okay so in a way you could say that you know glucose could have a bit of a free pass but within reason uh, they didn't observe the usual complications of uh, sugar sweetened beverages uh, consumption only because the study period was too short, just about seven weeks. For you to see those complications, uh, you have to use, uh, you have to consume the sugar uh, sweetened beverages for months and years. Okay, so uh, the period was too short for them to see those complications. And I'll be talking about those complications in my next video. And then the other finding was that uh, fructose was the common denominator to damage to liver health. Okay, so those were the findings. Um, very nice study. I like it. So their conclusion, the researchers concluded that uh, increased basal liver fat production is probably the first metabolic change induced by regular fructose containing sugar sweetened beverage consumption. Okay. And they're also saying, which is essentially the same thing, that this metabolic switch towards a higher liver fat production paves the way for further changes affecting metabolic health okay that's really interesting isn't it so there are quite a number of learning points from the findings of uh, this very research uh, the first is that uh, the process of the cardiometabolic diseases that are making us sick begins in the liver the liver is the organ where it all starts and why is that well i'm going to explain why in my next video so be on the lookout for that the next is that uh, when you consume excess amounts of foods containing fructose by the way don't forget sucrose has fructose in it uh, sucrose is actually table sugar so when you consume excess amounts of foods containing fructose that flicks on a metabolic switch in the liver and the next point uh, is that when you flick on that switch that leads to uh, production of excess amounts of free fatty acids and also de novo fat uh, so you're going to form new fat in your liver which leads to the next learning point, which is when you have so much de novo fat uh, in your liver, that will lead to uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver. So, uh, and then from then on, what happens next is uh, you have a cascade of events where you have a spillover of fat to other organs. And I'll talk about that in my next video as well. Another learning point from this research is that glucose is half as bad as fructose when it comes to harm to our health. But does that mean you get a free pass with glucose? Well, not quite, because there is also research evidence to suggest that glucose spikes insulin more than fructose. So, uh, in all honesty, it's not quite a victory parade for glucose. So, what should you do? Well, your first line of defense is to lower your consumption of sugar. The next thing I always say is when it comes to sugar delivery, uh, you don't want fast delivery of sugar to the liver. You want slow delivery because when you have a fast delivery of sugar to the liver, the liver is just going to be overwhelmed with uh, the amount of sugar is just received and it doesn't have a choice other than to flick on that metabolic switch. So slow delivery is always better than fast delivery because you don't want to overwhelm your liver. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you did, uh, please give the video a thumbs up. Please like the video. And also please share this video with your friends, family, and colleagues. And if you've got any questions, any comments, please leave them down below. And also don't forget to uh, be on the lookout for the next video when I'm going to be talking about uh, the complications of uh, sugar consumption. 
Uh, I think that's about it for this video. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.